think so? Once down to the river edge, yeah. you put your tube in the water and you start going pretty quick. It's really quite a thrill. Uh, these tubing adventures are, are all over the country, so yeah. you kind of have to pick and choose where you're going to have your adventure. I don't know if there's a, oh, a chart out there that compares the different different rafting zip lines and say, oh, you must do this one, you must do this one. I think in some ways it becomes kind of a practical adventure where if you're staying at a place, it's convenient, then you go ahead and you sign up because it appears that, for example, uh, this hacienda, Guachipalin, uh, it's a fairly large uh, tract of land and they have all of these natural features on the property and so it's quite convenient since you're staying at the hotel that's where you're at and it makes sense to go ahead and just sign up for those adventures right right through your hotel do know that they do bus in lots of folks from other hotels and they bring them to these different locations and so even though your hotel may be small um, don't be surprised that you have a pretty big crowd of people um, i think that maybe the crowds are a little bit too big they they push you through the system perhaps a little bit too quick um, and so you don't really get this real long extended shot if you will you you kind of get a couple couple good thrills and it seems like you are in the water for maybe about 20 i don't know 20 25 minutes and then boom it's over and then you're on to the next thing so th that's slightly a, a bit of a, a drag it, it 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 would be for the cost i mean sometimes these things uh, uh we paid for three adventures horse horse riding zip line tubing and it was about a hundred dollars per person and I think if you signed up for just one of the adventures, I think the zip line or the tubing is probably about fifty, sixty dollars per person for one of the features, one of the adventures. So it can add up. So choose carefully. Um, it is kind of a thrill. I mean, I will say that um, it, it definitely feels like a real convenient system to get down the river. Didn't feel concerned about safety. To give you uh, helmets, um, um, a word of advice is uh, do take closed toed shoes. Although we didn't particularly suffer with sandals, it seems like it's always a good idea and some places may require you to have a closed shoe uh, closed toe shoe in order to do the adventures. We didn't have that problem but um, uh, it, it might be an issue someplace, but so anyway, just just my recommendation is to, you know, have have a closed-toed shoe uh, to do any of these adventures, whether it's zip lining, horse riding, tubing, uh, whatever it might be.
hold on more. Más fuerte. Go, go, buddy, go. Okay, Simón.